Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a little image accordion for you today. We've got an image here and we've got some other images stacked underneath when you click on them. They're going to come into focus like that. And you can link these images, you can do all kinds of things. Really easy to do. We're using the Divi accordion module to do this today and we're just sort of tweaking it a bit to use images rather than text. So let's get started. Let's enable the visual builder. Okay, I've got a section here. It's got a row in it with two columns. I've got my first one in this left column here. Let's add one to our right column here. I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you add WooCommerce, it'll give you an extra 12 modules to display your products with also. So we're going to use the accordion module for this today. I'm just going to left click on it. And there we are. Let's move this out of the way. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete that second one there. Okay, so we've got a regular accordion here. And it's going to have a toggle when you click on it on the right hand side. We've got a title and some text. But like I say, I want to use mine for images. So it's a sort of kind of little clickable slide show, if you will. So I'm going to go into my first little accordion module there. I'm going to leave the text exactly where it is. But I'm going to make it transparent because I just want to see the image. So I'm going to go down to the background. I'm going to put in the background image that I want to put in there. Now we've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern, and background mask. I'm going to use background image. Let's simply click on that. And we'll pop in an image. Okay, well, we've got an image there. You can see the sort of text basically over it. If you want to add text, you can leave it on there. But this is really for images today that I'm designing. So first thing we want to do is really make this image the aspect ratio that we want people to, to see it, you know, the size of the image there. So let's go over to our design. And what I'm going to do is go down to sizing. We've got height here. And I want to set mine so that the image is more of the original sort of aspect ratio. So I'm going to give it 300 pixels height, 300. That works for me, that's the correct image. And while I'm here, I'm going to use the responsive toggle to set it on tablet and mobile as well. So I'm going to roll over that one. I'm going to hit the little mobile phone icon. And this is common to most Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing there, you'll see some icons appear. Go to whatever it is you want to affect. In our case, it's the height here. And let's click the little mobile phone icon. And there's the desktop setting. If we flip it to tablet, I roll down so we can see there's our one there and it's too skinny on tablet I want it a lot wider than that or a lot deeper I should say so in the height let's try giving it 350 that's about right that's about the right shape that I want to display my pictures you can probably go up a little bit more but I think 350 is probably going to be okay yeah, that's a little too much. Let's give it 350 on tablet. That's fine. And then on mobile, it'll probably be okay with the original settings. Yeah, that's fine on mobile right there. Great, so we set our height for all devices there. We can close this up now. And let's go back to where we were. So there's our first image. It's the right size and it's the right height. But I want to get rid of this sort of shadowy text. So still in the design, I'm going to close up sizing. I'm going to go up to my title text. I'm simply going to make it transparent on both open and closed. If you want to have it there on closed or something, just give your title a color. And I'm going to roll down. I'm going to do exactly the same for the body text. And there we go. Great. We can close that one up. And we can do it for the closed title text also. Fantastic. So we're free of text on our image now. Okay, let's save this now. If we add another one just to see what it's going to look like. 
there it is right there and you can see the title and the toggle and there's also a gap between the two there that we need to get rid of so let's get rid of that gap let's go back into our main accordion settings by saving this and let's go back into our first one here I'm going to go over to design and down to spacing I'm going to take away any margin from top and bottom by putting a zero in there I'm going to hit the link and there we go it's buffered up against it now which is what we want with no gap there now I have to know that's a little wider than I want my image to be I know we're on the top one right now just to make sure it's going to be as skinny as we can make it I'm going to put zero padding in here and when we clone this you'll see it's a lot skinnier than this actual module here so I'm fairly happy with our image right there so let's save this we can now delete our second module and let's clone our first one as you can see it's underneath it's got a bit of a border on there looks like so we need to take our borders away and we've got a little toggle there as well I don't really want to toggle on there I just want them to be able to click on it so let's take this away we'll go back in here first thing I want to do is take that border away so I'm going to go to design when I toggled this I left it closed like that that's why it's skinny so I'm going to go down to border I'm going to roll down take the border away make sure any border is transparent in there and the only other thing was the toggle I didn't want to see that so if we go up to here we'll close this one down here's our toggle open toggle background color and close toggle background color I'm going to make those both transparent great well let's save that again and now let's clone this one more time and there it is underneath we can go in change the background image to another image that you want there go to image put in whatever image you want to put in great and let's rinse and repeat put a new image in and go on until you've got the amount you want I'm going to put in a couple more here there we go and let's go back into our main accordion settings I see a toggle there that may be because we're on the back end here it may disappear on the front just to make sure let's go to our design tab okay everything looks good there let's have a look at the icon and let's turn that to transparent there we go they're gone let's save our changes we'll save the page changes save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder okay let's go down there's our initial image if we go down a bit click on the next one it'll expand up and the next one and so on and so forth so there you go guys that's how to use the accordion module to create an image accordion rather than a text one and that's a nice little feature to have on your site so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.